Oh, hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I really hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. And if you're watching this in the future, I hope your next Christmas is awesome too. Anyway, today I thought I would go over a few programs that I've built over the years. Now, you guys may not know, but I spent a whole year doing nothing but Python development, pretty much. I was also doing some social media and marketing stuff at the same time, but my job role kind of was really sort of narrowly focused on doing Python development. And at first I wasn't great, but we had a wonderful engineer there and he taught me so much and I, you know, very, very quickly progressed. And after a whole year of doing Python, I felt like it was like a second language almost. I built a few cool things, which I'm gonna look at today with you guys. So it should be awesome, stick around. A few cool things. The first program I want to show off is one I call Copy Buddy, and I've got this on a shortcut. So what you can do is if something's on the desktop, you can right click on it, go to properties and you can set a shortcut. In my case, it is control, alt and Z. So when I press those buttons, this will pop up basically. And this is super nifty. It saves so much time filling in forms. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely hate filling in forms. So I made my Copy Buddy. And this contains all my information I use on a regular basis. This is just a completely random form example. So I've got my name in here and I've dragged my last name down to the second line. Um, let's stick in my address, which is number five. And put my Twitter, my Twitter, which is here, is broken. Number seven, kind regards. Then we're gonna go back to my name, which is number nine, David William Beck. So there we have it. So let's look at some of the old cool features that this can do. First of all, let's go to X. Uh, this was sort of a previous version of the poem maker. There we go, the poem is made. Let's um, have a look at the poem. Now, what this actually does is it looks at the uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is a book I've always liked, and it'll choose some random sentences and things out of there. Completely at random, it'll scan the whole text and grab some text out of there. Accountants amongst them looked forward to a profitable autumn, said um, Zap Hold Sully. Well, I was hoping you could help me with that. Fell straight off, hashtag. Uh, why don't we say hashtag love quotes? So what about that guys? Isn't that a pretty cool poem? No! Just completely randomly generated out of a book. And the last thing which I love about this is if I press Z. Oh look, I've got a little creature here. I press Z and his little mouth moves. So yeah, this, this is the credits. Uh, if I feel like it, I'll probably release um, a basic version of this anyway. Let's look at um, my Vogon poetry, which is what you kind of just saw. I had a program in Python which generates these lovely, lovely pictures. And, well, that one's not so lovely, I guess. I generated about a thousand of these pictures. A lot of them are obviously random, but yeah, some of them are quite nice. And some of them are like unbelievably crazily detailed. My Vogon account will automatically every hour post some text which is again Vogue on poetry uh, or is it for wind king of kings at this party persisted Arthur was a gal galaxy did I hashtag <laughs> pictures <laughs> nice see that's a nice picture um, another AI I've got is my cuddles AI which is again really cool you can come and follow it at uh, AI cuddles this program is quite cool because it has actual emotion, right? And it'll get happier when people follow it and it'll kind of scan the number of people following and if it goes up, it'll get happier. And if no one follows, it kind of slowly gets more melancholy. If someone unsubscribes, it gets very, very upset. So don't do that or else it'll post pictures of graves and things. And that's just so depressing. But anyway, that's my Cuddles AI. And I, I guess that's um, mostly it for now. Uh, I've created a few other things, which I, I guess I won't go into now. But yeah, like and subscribe if you want to see more of the things I've sort of developed. And let me know in the comments if you want um, a copy of my copy buddy, 
obviously minus the data, so that you can build this yourself. Alright, well, thank you very much, and I will speak to you soon.